Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. We got one for the beginners today. We're going to talk about inserting shapes into your Microsoft Access forms and reports. It works with both forms and reports, same thing. And even if you are an expert user or even a developer, you might not know this trick that I'm going to show you. So you might, you might find this interesting even if you're one of the advanced guys. Today's question comes from Lucas in Garland, Texas, one of my gold members. Lucas says, I'm trying to add some shapes like arrows to my form, but I'm having trouble making the background transparent. Can you help me with this? Well, of course, Lucas. Let's take a look at how I do it. There's lots of ways to do this. This is my preferred method. All right, so first off, if you're using Microsoft Access, you should know that there is no way to directly put shapes in your form design or even in your reports. All we really have are lines, and you got rectangles and that's it. You can't put any of the, the fancy cool arrows and other shapes that you have in the other office applications like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. The reason being is because Access literally is the redheaded stepchild of the Microsoft Office family. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna go over and borrow those shapes from one of the other apps. Personally, I prefer using PowerPoint. So it's no secret I use PowerPoint for these slides, right? Even this thing here, that's a PowerPoint slide. Okay, and in PowerPoint, as well as in Word and Excel, you can go to insert and then shapes and you get all these cool shapes you can put in there. Okay, let's say you wanna do one of these block arrows here, this guy, all right? Just click and draw it in here, right? And then you can change the format, you can change the fill, you can make it purple, you can change the whatever, the size, okay. Now, here's the thing. If you just try to copy and paste this guy, watch what happens. Copy, control C, I'll switch back over to access. All right, and I'll try to paste this in down here on the bottom of the form. Oops, someone's beaming in too. Hold on, someone's beaming in, who is it? Well, just a Klingon. <laughs> okay, so here we go, paste, boom, and I get this thing. OLE server isn't registered, what? No, I don't know, I don't want all this. Click, click, click. All right, it finally comes in but it doesn't have a transparent background. So that looks nasty. I don't like that. Now, in the old days, what you could do is you could, let me get rid of this first of all, is you could go to form view here. You could screen grab this color, right? Like this, I'm using my screen capture tool. Come back over to here, paste that in as like a background. I'll send it to back now, okay? And now you could screen grab this. So you got the purple arrow with that background. And now if I paste it over here in design view, it comes in nice as an arrow and it looks decent. You could turn off the border and make it all, you know, pretty. All right, that's the old way using basically a fake background. The problem with that is if you do change the background color later on of your form, let's say you wanna go with that. Well, now this background doesn't match. So we don't want that. We wanna use an actual transparent background. Now. Microsoft Access does support transparent images, as long as it's a format type that supports it, like GIF or PNG. In fact, if you go out to the Google machine and look for GIF with transparent background, you get a bunch of these. Don't save these, these are the thumbnails. But if you click on one of these, like this guy here, right? You see this, see the checkered background? That means you got a transparent GIF there. This you can save. Now you're not gonna get the animations in Access, but at least it'll come in with a transparent background. Right click save image as, all right, I'll save it as loading Win 98 transparent, okay, fine. Close this, and now come back into here, insert image, browse, you can see I downloaded one earlier to try, browse, and then insert that guy, and then click and drag, and there's your transparent image. See, it's got a transparent background. Like I said, you're not gonna get animations, but it's better than nothing, right? Come in here now, there you go. The same trick can be done with shapes and other objects from PowerPoint or Word. So let me get rid of this background. Let's take just this arrow here, okay? Instead of copying and pasting it, watch what you can do. Right click and then come down to save as picture. That will actually save that object as a picture. All right, we're gonna save it as, all right, picture four, that's fine. Now come back in here, design view, same thing. Insert image, browse, picture4.png, and then click and drag. There you go. There's your transparent shape or whatever you wanted, right? 
right? You can do all kinds of stuff. You can draw a heart. I think I did a heart in my previous example. You can use, like I got this thing here for the different parts, right? You can do multiple objects. Let's say you want part nine, right? Click on the part and then hold down the shift key, click on that nine. Now you got two items in there, right? Right click, save as picture, picture five, that's fine. Now come back over to here, all right? And then insert down here, insert, browse, picture five, click and drag. And there you go, part nine, okay? You can put that wherever you want. And of course you could change all the other picture options over here, you zoom, clip, stretch, zoom looks best. I think. All right, and notice how it's transparent. So now when you go into form view, okay? <laughs> that's pretty neat. But that's how you get nice, crisp, clean shapes and other objects like that from PowerPoint into Access. And that's all. I did the same thing with this guy, this little heart, right? Right, all I did with that was I drew a heart, which is under the shapes, insert, shapes. Where's the heart? Where are you at? Where are you at? Right there. Draw the heart, make it red. Where's the fill? Shape fill, make it red. Right click, save as picture. We'll call this the heart. All right, come back over to access, design view. Let me get rid of this stuff. Goodbye, goodbye. Don't forget also, if you're done with those images, clear them out of here too, right? You can right click, delete these, because these are all still saved in the database in your gallery. If you don't want them any, I got a whole separate uh, video on the image gallery. All right. Let's say we want to leave this one in there for a few, for the future. Let's browse. We'll add the heart. All right. I put the heart in like that. And then all you got to do is take something, whatever field you want, like credit limit. All right. I'm going to get rid of the label, put this over the top of it like this, and it's going in behind it. Right. So we're going to have to click on this guy, right click, Position, send to back. That'll put the heart in the background. Slide this guy right over the front of it. Maybe make it a little bigger. All right, go to format. We're going to make the background transparent. We'll make the shape outline transparent so we don't have a box around it. Center it, make the text white and bold and 22 point and save it, close it, open it. There you go. Okay. All kinds of cool stuff you can do. So that's about it. That's uh, that's going to do it for today. I cover a lot more with form design and uh, and objects like that and making your forms look good and pretty. The same technique, by the way, works in reports, right? Obviously, you're going to probably want a white background for a, a printed page unless you're printing on colored paper or something like that. I don't know. But you can do the same trick, the same technique with reports. All right. So that's going to do it. That's your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly.
Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.